Ho ho ho, it's bonfire night, and to go with celebrating the fact that it's bonfire night, I'm going to do something special. I know there are a lot of videos like this out there, but I'm going to do a jailbreak video for people who just are not bothered to find all the rest of it. Um, like all the other jailbreak videos. So, first off, what you will want to do is go to Google or Bing whatever the hell you use and type in green poison make sure that this is spelt how you see it so the zero must be a zero that is not a typo on my part I meant to write that and it should say mmm poison up here and if we come back to the main screen here this freaky looking apple dude that kinda of wants to kill us um, he appears here he must be there, or you've gone to the wrong website, probably made by some Asian dude in five minutes. So, but this was not made by an Asian dude. This website was made by the Chronic Dev team. So if I show you here, here is their logo. One of my friends is part of the Chronic Dev team, and he has very kindly recommended that I use this, not only because it's his software, but it actually works. Unlike Red Snow, or Lime Rain, or Black Rain, or whatever, Whatever the hell everybody else uses, this works. Trust. I've used it. So let's go through let's just go through the basic steps here. If you're a Mac user, download it for Mac. If you're a Linux user, download it for Linux. If you're a Windows user, download it for Windows. I'm a Windows user, so I'm gonna download it for Windows. Just click on the link there. Um save it. You should come up with that zip folder once you've saved it. Since I've already saved it, I'm not going to do it. Now, if we go to the downloads, you'll see the folder that I have already downloaded a few days back. And by the way, I want to um, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly um, thank the Green Poison team. They are awesome. They rule so much because they don't suck. And their jailbreak works. So, um... Thank you, Chronic Dev. You are an inspiration. And thank you, my anonymous friend, who has asked not to be named for legal and personal reasons. Uh, so, back to the jailbreak. Um, open this. Double-click it a few times. It should come up with this message. It should say, The publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? Please run it. Okay, I have scanned this thoroughly like a million times. There are no viruses, there are no trojans, there are no bugs. There are, will be no crap that will block up or possibly destroy your laptop or your internet. Simple as. So what I want you to do is run it and please again donate to Green Poison because they rule. Um read the instructions carefully people okay even my four-year-old brother could read this and he's like really smart uh what i want you to do is as it says here turn off your device and connect it so as you can see i've already done the jailbreak you can see the coca-cola theme here and i've got the theme slide me bitch with the blue arrow it's kind of cool and i've changed the um clock font I couldn't find for the um date yet but that will come very soon so what I want you to do turn your iPod off or your iPhone and wait until you see the wheel is completely gone and it's blank look it's off yeah so what I want you to do is prepare to jailbreak this will put it into DFU mode okay DFU basically means like a really short sleep so that you can jailbreak the iPod for those of you who are either non-literate or just don't know what DFU means. So prepare to jailbreak, get ready to start. Press and hold the sleep button for two seconds. So look, hold the home button for 10 seconds along with the sleep button. So the, hold, the sleep button and the hold, hold button at the same time. Release the sleep button, continue holding the home. So look, yeah? Ok, 
Okay, and as soon as it's done it, click jailbreak. Now, after this, you are you are at your own risk. If this jailbreak does not work and you lose all of your stuff, do not come crying to me. Complain to the chronic dev team. If they have done something that is has completely screwed up your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad, do not complain to me. I'm not here to listen to your complaints. I'm here to listen to the positive stuff. So press jailbreak and this should come up. Don't worry if you just see gibberish. Like, even I didn't understand it. And I'm like a nerd at this kind of stuff. Give it a couple of seconds. And don't worry if it comes up with this white screen. That's Let's just that's fine. Have a look at the computer. Have a look at the computer, that should come up. Go back to the iPod. And in a minute should come up with a load of writing that looks like stuff that comes up after you reboot your laptop look Whoa. don't worry this is all normal and please please ignore the fireworks since it's bonfire night people have gone hysterical over the fact that there are no fire brigade services so people are trying to test their houses for durability during fires which is not smart. Okay, you can see this as file system was modified. That just means that since my last jailbreak, stuff has changed. Like I've put stuff on yeah. it, I've taken stuff off, I've made it better. So, this won't take long, so, yeah, it won't take long at all. Oh, and if you all have any ideas on, like, what my theme of the week should be for just my iPod, because that's the only thing I have for my iPod, then personal message me, or if you don't want to just leave a comment and I'll happily reply to you and as you can see on the laptop jailbreak complete gypsy means it's done um, do not press quit until your iPod is restarted and it has rebooted just keep it there just in case, you never know. It does take a while, so, like, don't think it's just my iPod that's doing it. And as you can see, works as normal. Now once you've jailbroken it, it should come up with this little logo that says loader. If it is a white icon when you do it, please do not worry. I would recommend you kept this because this is the source for Cydia. Okay, press install Cydia. Since I've already done it, I'm not going to, but it says remove loader app press cancel personally you can do what you want but I would recommend that you keep it and Cydia because I've got an awesome theme Cydia looks like this but you'll know it's Cydia because it opens up and stuff and it has this logo down here it does take a while to load up for the first time it took about after I jailbroke it and I like upgraded the system and that kind of stuff it took a while so you see it locked itself 
my iPod does that anyway, so I don't think Cydia does it itself. My iPod just has fits sometimes and decides to lock itself. It will load the data and stuff, that basically means it's just retrieving all the sources it needs for to power up Cydia. And as you can see, it says home Cydia, it says downloading all the packages or the releases and it comes up where it says welcome to Cydia, the trademark logo is there, by J Freeman Sorik. Now, there is a Facebook page for Cydia and there is a Twitter page for Sorik. Now, if you are, if you have done this, like Joe broken it, Please read through this all this very carefully. It took me because I've got a lot of free time, and then sometimes I haven't. Because sometimes I've got a lot of free time, I just had to look at it. You may think this is a load of rubbish, but it's just not. I would really recommend reading all through all this stuff because it basically shows you where you stand with your jailbreak. So, say if your iPod just decides to have a hissy fit and never works again, then at least you know like what you can do, like when it happens, when and if it happens. One thing I will say for a jailbreak is that this voids your warranty, so you can't get a new iPod if this um, this present iPod or an iPhone decides to um, screw up. So, as you can see here, there are loads of mods and fonts. Mods mean modifications and that kind of stuff. I can search for themes. Cydia is quite slow, so... See? So, for instance, if I wanted to search for, see, right, if I wanted to search for, instance, themes in general, but I didn't want to go to the packages because I thought they sucked, then what I can do, see how slow it is, that's, again, that's Cydia, don't think that your iPod is just stupid, um, look, T... H E M E S. Obviously, nothing's come up, but you can see theme 94, theme Bilal, theme Chivas, that's a Mexican team, um, theme Cruz Azul, that's another Mexican football or soccer team, theme De River Plate, or River Plate, as some people call it. There's loads of themes that you can come up, and it's not just themes. It's for um, it's for the lock as well, the lock screen. So, as you can see here, and by the way, I have got the Acon lock sound, so that's cool. As you can see, it says "Slide me, bitch," which is quite awesome. It's got the Coca-Cola battery sign, so when it's half a Coca-Cola can, it means it's half full. Quarter of a Coca-Cola can, the same as quarter, three, three quarters same and the cool thing about jailbreaking is that um iphone 4 users we we have the same stuff as you on, on this so um ha uh that's basically it i will be running through a lot more stuff like themes and all that feel free to personal message me if you think there's, there's anything i could have done better and let me know Thank you for watching. This is Comedy King 5000. Peace.